Hello everyone, this is Khaled from the Retronair channel. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to play the GameCube games on your Wii. Um, and to do this, we need a few things. First, we need to install a software called Nintendo on our Nintendo Wii. Then we have to get the game on um, the USB stick that we'll be using. And of course, we're gonna be loading it either through the Nintendo software itself or the USB Loader GX. Of course, to do this, you need to have the Homebrew channel installed on your um, Nintendo Wii along with the USB Loader GX. If you don't have that, um, I have already created a video for that. I'll put the link in the chat in the corner up there and also in the description. You can look at that and see how to install the Homebrew channel and the USB Loader GX. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is install the Nintendo software from the Homebrew channel. So open the Homebrew channel. And if you follow the video I've posted about how to install the Homebrew channel, you should be you should have installed the Homebrew browser, which is basically a way to um, install new software instead of downloading it into your PC, moving it to the USB stick and all that stuff. This way, um, it's much easier, much faster to install. Okay, so we're finally in. Just we need to go to utilities, go back, uh, to go down to until we see Nintendo, which is basically, as I said, the utility to run. Um, and I think I think it's not an emulator. It's actually. Uh, just to unlock playing game uh, GameCube games of the SD card, so it's not emulation. It's actually using the hardware inside the Nintendo Wii. It's a little bit down. Yeah, here it is. Go, GameCube loader and download. So then when it's done, just go back, go back and press home and of course return to loader, which will get us out to the homebrew channel. You should see Nintendo game uh, cube loader. So that's it. We're now going to switch to our PC to get the game onto our USB stick, put it in the right structure so we can load it in the game cube loader. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, we need to create a folder on our USB stick called games, small letter. I don't know, I don't think it matters the case, but anyways, call it games. And this is basically the folder will that will contain all the games that we need um, uh, or we want to play on the GameCube. Next, um, you need the game ROM or the game backup. Again, guys, I'm not going to tell you how to get your game backup. But basically, figure out a way to download the game backup. So this is uh, we're gonna test on uh, Meteorod Prime, which is a GameCube games. It's a very game. It's a very nice game. So what you wanna do is extract it um, to the USB drive. In games, of course, we're gonna create another folder for it. But it's gonna let's let it extract. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So the thing you wanna do is then create the folder for that game. So you game to you go to game t, um, tdb um, dot com, which is basically the place where you can find games. Just search for the game. So we're gonna search for it again, so you can see. And in the result, we need um, the first version, which is basically this one, the GameCube game. So if we open it. So this is our GameCube game. What we need is the game ID. So, sorry. Let's first copy the name. So you go to your um, USB drive inside the games folder. If it as allows us to open. Oh, it crashed. Okay. Ah, oh, it didn't. So we create a new folder here. We'll put the name as game prime. Then between um, square brackets, we want to put the game ID. So this is important so the loader can know the game name and the ID. So the ID is also important for the loaders like um, the USB Loader GX to fetch um, the artwork for the game. So let's see what happens with our eye. It's still... Um, 
extracting the ISO file. Okay, guys, so we're done. Let's go back to our folder. The first thing we want to do is rename the file to game. So now it's game.iso and move it to the folder, which this is, this is which is this one. So now this is the structure. We have game.iso. Well, let's go back. So basically you have a folder called games inside it, the game name and between square brackets, the game ID and inside it game.iso. That's it. Eject it. And let's go back to the Wii. Okay, guys, so we're back on the Wii. Let's go ahead. And first, of course, you have uh, the first option, of course, is to uh, is to start the game from the Nintendo software, which is an I'm about to show you. So just go to Nintendo, start it. It will automatically look at what you can choose. We're going to use USB. It will show us the game. Hopefully it will load it. Uh-huh. As, as you can see, the game should load without any issues. with music and stuff and of course press start of course when you play you want to play nintendo or nintendo gamecube games you need to your nunchucks along with this because as you remember the nintendo um, gamecube controller was much more complicated or had a lot of buttons so anyway so this is the first way to do it of course you can go out um, let me go out of nintendo so the other way is actually using the USB Loader GX, um, which basically will automatically um, detect the games uh, that are on the that are on the Game GameCube games by itself. You don't you don't need to do anything. So let me show it to you. As you can see, we can see here um, the Metroid. If you start it, and you can go start the game basically what it does it starts the nintendo um, software so but the nice thing is that you'll have it alongside the other games you have the uh, wii games so instead of you um you know sometimes starting the nintendo or the uh, loader gx you can have all your games from one place so i hope this was helpful um, I, um I, I, we created this video because we noticed there's a lot of i noticed there's a lot of comments asking how to play gamecube games on the wii so here you have it um if you like the video guys it will be great if you can uh, give it a thumbs up um and leave in the comments any questions you might have or any suggestions or things to do on the nintendo wii um that's it for today and see you soon